Hey folks, Santa Posad here, back again out at the Liberty Vintage Stock. Uh, kind of excited to be here. Uh, fellow YouTuber Def Set said they might have some box NES games I'd be interested in. Hopefully they didn't get sold between when he told me and now, because it's been a couple days, a day or two anyway. But uh, we're going to go and check it out, maybe try to get a little bit of, of footage for y'all and uh, do a bit of a pickups video. Uh, I'm planning on doing the Genesis Collection. Maybe I'll get it done this weekend, maybe I won't. I don't know, it's already Saturday evening, so we'll see. Uh, let's roll in here though and see what they got. We'll throw the glasses in the car and we'll go in and check it out. This is probably about a, I don't know, maybe a 12 to 15 mile drive from my house uh, north. But uh, we'll see what they got. Great time. Turtles. Caesar's Palace. Solar Jet Man and Monopoly. We'll have to check and see what they got if they got directions. So. I'm going to pause it for a minute so I can check them. A couple of them look pretty good, folks. I think I'm going to get uh, three of them. Uh, one of them's just the game, and it's got a big sticker on it, and it's just break time uh, and no instructions or anything, so I'm probably going to pass on that one. The other one's like the card game or something. Jeremiah and Car Warriors now clip. Jeremiah and good 3D world runner. Excite bike, elevator action. I'm still looking for Legend of Cage. See this one's got the clips, but I don't a really, really beat him Kathy a stinger. Spy honey. Three copies of Gumshoe, Gradius. No clips are, are not super hard to find. I'll look at their Genesis stuff here in just a second. He said they had like. 15 or so there might be a couple in the case over there, but they've only got five now So I don't know if they sold off like 10 of them or or what very possible Stellar fire Jurassic Park three copies of cliffhanger Be a clue in the hard case. Probably missing the directions. Yeah. A few Saturn games. I got this Japanese Nintendo 64 Super Smash Brothers for 25 in box. Uh, but I don't have anything to play it on. I don't know. I might take have them take it out and take a look at it anyway. I don't know why that Brigade Legend of Forsena is $80 for the PlayStation. If anybody knows why, let me know. Looks really sweet, but I don't think it'll play on a Nintendo 64. So I don't think I'm gonna get it because I already have some Super Smash Brothers. I love that box art though. Mm -hmm. 
So folks, we let the Japanese Smash Brothers slide. You all might know if it'll play on an American system or not. I don't think it does. I'm on, uh, but I've never been an import collector. I just really love that box art and stuff. And I just, it didn't have the directions either. The Japanese directions. It had like some printed off American directions. Sorry. So anyway, um, I picked up a three box NES, a, a, a super. Uh, not Super Sega Master System game and a PS2 game based on a recommendation from uh, Wasp Spray and uh, we'll go back and uh, show them so anyway it's a nice evening here I'm gonna sign off and we'll do uh, the rest of the pickup when I get home so Wanna hold that love? Wanna hold that love? Falsetto sucks because I'm still a little bit hiccup from my and I'm Todd. I've arrived home from the Liberty store with my bag of tricks. My bag of goodies. I spent $39 total. Um, you can probably guess what some of it is because I show some of it in the video. And uh, I was pretty excited to find some of it. Um, thanks again to De uh, Def Set for uh, giving me a heads up for the store out there. Appreciate it, buddy. Um, I'm going to try to look at the camera more this time. How's that? I rarely, it seems like I'm always staring down. you got to love that. So I was watching me stare down the whole time while you're watching my videos, not uh, communicating directly. Um, games, games, games. We found uh, a few games. And uh, I'm going to give one a whirl. Uh, based on uh, this latest tag I did, the PlayStation 2... Uh, top five tag that Nemesis did and uh, he tagged me and I kind of left it open and uh, Lost Ray did a open response and uh, he had his five and uh, a couple of them I had never heard of or, or uh, played and one of them he said looked pretty cool to him and I decided to go ahead and pick up a copy because uh, it was out there tonight he said it wasn't very expensive it's PS2 title but I decided to pick up PsyOps and it does look pretty funny uh, it looks like it could be pretty cool, uh, my type of thing. And uh, I'm going to stick this in after I film this video and uh, check it out. And I think it should be pretty cool. Eight bucks um, is not too bad to me for a PS2 title. And especially one, you know, that's, you know, if it's somebody's favorite, it's got to have, you know, something, something to it, you know. Um, I think I said my favorite of all time was... Uh, Soul Reaver uh, Defiance, uh, the Legacy of Cain series, and uh, it it's basically tied with God of War and Champions. They're all different types of games. Um, it's just a game, and uh, you know it felt light, so no big deal. Um, eight bucks. We're check it out, and um, what else did I get? Um, I'll save that for last since it's the only thing you probably don't know. Um, when I was looking through, uh, got there and ran over, ran over, <laughs> literally almost uh, ran over to see what games they had in the Nintendo section. Um, I showed you all of them, so you pretty much guessed what I got, I think, based on the video. But the first one I picked up was uh, the Solar Jetman uh, for $2.99. Uh, I did not, I don't even remember really playing this when I was a kid. Um, it doesn't really ring a bell to me, uh, but, you know, it was three bucks, and it, it is complete, except it's missing the, uh, foam in the bottom that, uh, you know, makes it so the cartridge is, uh, secure in there, and that it, um, doesn't crush the box. Um, you can re put replacement foam in there if you cut it down to size, it's no big deal. Um, 
The second one I picked up, I guess we're doing this kind of in price order, it was the Monopoly. I went in and picked up the Monopoly. Uh, this one is complete, and the box on this one's probably the best shape out of all of them that were there. Uh, probably because it didn't get a whole lot of play. I mean, it's Monopoly. You know, I mean, you can only play it so much. Uh, it is complete. The game's in there. It comes with the directions here, which uh, happen to be in black and white. Then it also comes with this, and I didn't open this because I wanted to see what it was at the same time you did. Um, I guess it's just a little mini poster of uh, all the different properties and stuff. I thought maybe it had something to do with the game, but it just looks like a little poster. So, oh well, that, that's kind of cool. I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't have thought. I'd rather the directions were in color. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but you know, oh well, it like it is complete. Like I said, even with the little mini poster uh, for six ninety nine, and uh, it's in good shape. Uh, I did have Monopoly, a loose cart, so now I could probably put it in my uh, trade away box uh, that I have the uh, one that's complete. So that's cool. And the third and final one, folks, you can probably guess which one I picked up is the uh, Teeny Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. I did not have this on in any loose cart form. I had looked at it a couple times, but it was always 10 bucks, and it was just a loose cart, and I was always like, I don't know. You know, it was the same thing with the Teeny Mutant Ninja Turtles. I kept putting it off because it was like 10 or $12, and I kept, you know, I just was like, I'm, I don't want to spend that for just the cartridge. And so I kept putting it off, and um, one time I did see a Turtles 2, and it was 10 bucks, and it was in the box, but the box was crushed on the bottom, and it was missing the directions, and I was like, nah, it's not worth it to me. Uh, so I passed on it once in box, and then um, I, I think um, one of the stores had the uh, Turtles, uh, it might have been the Flea Mart, I, I don't know, it, it was either the Flea Mart or one of the stores. Uh, had it. I don't think I ordered it off the internet. Uh, the uh, first Turtles uh, complete in the box and I picked it up first and I do have the Manhattan Project and the Turtles on loose cart so uh, that's another one you chuck in the bucket um, but I picked it up first and then I had the Manhattan Project and I don't uh, have the tournament fighters. I have the tournament fighters I think for one of my consoles um, but I never picked this up, so tonight when I open this up, it is complete, folks, which is awesome. And, uh, got the game and the directions here, which are in color, which is what I'm talking about. Uh, look cool. And, um, that was the third one I picked up. Um. So we picked up three uh, new and unique titles uh, for the uh, Nintendo Total, which is cool. I think it's we're still in the 80s. I think we're like close to 88 or so. Uh, I picked up one last game. I wanted, wanted, wanted the <laughs> Japanese uh, Super Smash Brothers uh, just for the box art alone. I couldn't, and that's basically why I wanted it. And I couldn't justify it for $25. It may have worked in the Nintendo 64 American version. I don't know. I see, I seem to think that I remember watching videos and you have to have a, a modded system or it has to be, you know, a Japanese system. So I decided to pass. But, the, but then when I thought about it, I was like, why would it have American directions in there unless it worked on an American system? And I was like, uh, oh, well, you know, I can't justify buying it. I already have uh, the Nintendo 64 Super Smash Brothers uh, cart, loose cart, and I know I'm a box junkie, so, I mean, I don't know. I was really torn about it, <laughs> which is dumb, but it came with the plastic tray and had the game in it. I tried to get it as much of a shot of it as I could uh, while the guy's, like, standing, uh, you know, four feet away at the counter wondering why I'm like trying to film this box. Anyway, the final thing I picked up was while I was over there uh, looking at Sega CDs and stuff, they have some Sega Master System games 
and I decided to pick up another one. I picked up Zaxxon uh, 3D, and it's uh, $4.99. What's funny is they had a copy that was $9.99 and a copy that was $4.99. The copy that was $4.99, <laughs> when you opened it up, they had a one card in it with a really ripped-ass label and none of this stuff. And then the one that was $9.99 had the nice car, the nice cart and the nice uh, stuff inside so uh, me being the industrious person I am since they weren't uh, sealed shut with their uh, resealer machine is I just opened it up and I put the good cart and the uh, uh, poster and the directions and this little game catalog which I hadn't remembered seeing before um, in um, the $4.99 one and put the other game in the other one. I mean, because technically it is the same thing. I mean, I mean, why should I pay $5 more for it, you know? Since they have them marked separate. <laughs> or different prices. It's not my problem. I just want the best quality one of the two for the cheapest price I can get it. So, I got it. $4.99. Uh, pretty cool. And, uh, I don't know. I'm losing track how many Sega Master System games I have. Um, it's uh, not a very huge collection, I understand, so uh, I think I've got about 18 or so. Anyway, the final thing we picked up is our monthly edition of The Walking Dead. Uh, moving on from the uh, tragedy of his son being shot, he still does not know if he's going to come out of it and be a normal kid or not. So... He's uh, blaming himself, and uh, it was kind of a downbeat issue. Uh, nothing really major happened, but I'm sure it'll start back uh, crazy next next month. So uh, I still love it. I keep track of it. I guess they started filming the new episodes of The Walking Dead uh, this month, at the end of this month, um, and there's going to be 13 episodes this season, which is pretty cool. So. Anyway, I'm going to sign off, folks. I'm glad uh, y'all came by and uh, checked out a pickups video. Uh, the Genesis Collection video <laughs> may be out with this or may not. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm deciding, no matter what, that I'm going to do a uh, boxed Genesis Collection. I don't want to dig out the loose carts, and I think I've only got about six or eight anyway. Uh, I do have two that are out because I never put them up. So I'll do those along with the box games, and then that'll be it. So uh, thanks for coming by, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the pickup vid, and I'm going to play some PSYOPs. So see you later, and uh, see you next video. Bye.